Hi, this is Elliot Liggett, W6EL. I don't want to show you how to get the latest version of WFU on a modern Linux system. Go to WFU.org, press download. And if you want the latest code, that is, uh, you want to download it yourself, scroll down here until you get to the Debian build script. This will work on any uh, Debian-based Linux system, including anything based on Ubuntu. So click right here, and this will show you the GitLab page where I keep the build script. And just press download. That's this little button right here, okay? Download, it's a very short download. Press save. All right, you can go up here and verify that it actually has downloaded. There it is, okay? Now open a terminal. On my computer, I press Control-Alt-T. There we go. I'm going to put the browser over here so you guys can see what's going on. I'm going to press back because I want to show the directions while I do this. Okay. Now I'm going to type in these steps one at a time. The first step is to copy this, paste it over here. Okay, now we're in the downloads folder. Now we need to add the execute capability to the script. So we'll copy this one, paste it over here. All right, now we're gonna run the script. The script will ask us if we want to install the dependencies first. You should press yes if it's your first time doing this. If you've done it before, you probably already have them so you can skip the step. I'll press yes. It'll ask you for your password. You see here, it's telling me I've already got all this stuff. Okay, you can see there's one error here, but this is really not a problem because this particular distribution I'm running has a different version of lib, lib custom plot, which you can see up here. So you can expect either this one or this one to fail, and that's fine. We're going to press enter now and download the source code. And now I'll press enter to begin compiling. This can take a few minutes. Okay, once the code is compiled, It'll bring up this prompt and press Y. And now the program is installed. So from here, we can close the terminal. We can go to our Applications menu and load up WFU. Here it is. Now in your case, you'll need to configure it the first time you run through it. But that's how you can get the latest version. Thank you.